this is one of those ideal sites that I would have I would have come to and I would have looked for long-eared owls in here. The way I would have done it is probably not what I'm doing now, and that's standing still. I would have kept walking down a hedgerow like this, and at about this distance, with a pair of binoculars, I'd be occasionally stopping and scanning inside. They absolutely love uh, these particular hexpots. Uh, and of course, the ivy clump. Uh, small trees that you've got in there as well. They can hide and break there. But as more leaf comes off the trees, they become just that a little bit easier to see. Now this is a project that we think you can all join in with. And it's a project that's going on right through the United Kingdom. So uh, what, we are, what we want from you is to be able to uh, do your normal walk in your area with your dog, whatever you do when you're walking. Perhaps take a pair of binoculars with you if you can. Keep walking down the hedge as you normally would, but cast an eye inside and just see if you can see a familiar shape amongst those twigs and branches that are in there of an upright stance of an owl with two very large ear tips. And that will be the long-eared owl. Once you've identified it, or not, of course, we Negative records are as equally as important as positive records. Just fill in the online form. You can go to that now. You can see that come up uh, on the screen now. Go to that form, fill it in, positive or negative. Remember, equally as important. And we'll hopefully get a better idea of the number of long-eared owls that are currently wintering with us.